Okay, we want to draw uh, parabolas on our graphing calculator, and we have two versions. We have this top version, x squared equals something, and then we have y squared equals something. On this first one, this presents no problems to us. If I wanted to, to put this in, I'm just going to divide both sides by 4, and I can easily put this in. And I get, let's see here, 1 fourth, so 0.25. Two five x squared, and I graph it, and I get a nice, beautiful picture of my graph. Now the problem is, is this one right here. Now I can solve this for uh, y, so I can do it, but I have to then take the square root of it. The problem then is that when I do this, I'm going to put this in. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to take. I took the square root. No, nope, not that. Nope. Okay. And I have 1 over 21 x. Okay. And I'm going to graph it. And you can see I have my graph right here. Unfortunately, I know this is only half it. I should have another hide. This should be a full parabola. It should go around. How do I get the other half? Well, the other half is the negative half. So I'm going to put in negative second. Here. So I'm going to put in the exact same one I just put, only I'm putting the negative sign in front of it to say to find that negative reflection. And in this case, the window's not very good, so I'm going to do negative 5 to 5, 0 0.5. I'm, gonna, I'm just changing this so I can see it better. Or maybe it doesn't want me to change it so it can be better. Oh well, you still got the point whether it's mad at me or not. So the gist of this is if you want to graph some of these parabolas, you will need to solve for y. But when you do that, make sure that you are also including the negative half.